Hey, good afternoon YouTube. Joshua here at SaltyScales.com down here in beautiful Central Florida. Got a bluebird day, but man is it hot. What we're covering today is how to rig some popular soft plastic Z-Man lures. Now, some of this stuff may seem fundamental and great for you beginners and some of you, even avid fishermen, hopefully this answers a few questions that you might have. I'm gonna cover a few different things. So let's jump in, take a closer look. All right, so here we have the diesel minnows. And guys, this is a great little elastic bait, perfect profile, and I'll take it out of the package here in a minute. This is an epic bait for snook. If you're looking for a go-to snook bait on the beach, this might be it, especially when you equip it with this little 1 8 ounce BTB jig. It's a flats jig by Z-Man, or just a mission fishing. Um, deadly combo, guys, and this is really good also for redfish. So let's pull this baby out, take a closer look. I'll show you how to rig it on this particular jig. So here we have, we have a, a pretty much a white slash clear body. So it's see-through, transparent, and it has a black, silver, and white flake. But what's really nice is this tail here really makes create some crazy vibrations and what you'll see here. Also, what's great about the Z-Man is their elasticity. If you've never tried them guys, they're a little tougher to hook sometimes, but holy cow do they last a long time. The only thing that I know that could destroy them quickly is a dang on puffer fit. <laughs> and we've all seen those bad boys with them nasty teeth. But let me show you how to rig this with this jig. So this is, for you bass fishermen, it's very uh, similar to a swim jig. It's ultimately what you're doing here. So you wanna go ahead and put the jig, the nose of the lure through the hook here. And as it starts to round, and you want to try to make sure that it's coming out the center of the bait. It's crucial. So that way everything's balanced and it runs properly or true. Once it starts to curve, go ahead and pull that hook out the back of the bait. All right, now you want to just move these little legs back. You want to go ahead and push the bait up on the keeper here. And that's going to help keep this soft plastic up on the jig head. Look at that. Woo, tell me that is not beautiful. So what's gonna happen here is when this lure, like say you're bouncing it off the bottom, when that lure hits the bottom, this skirt falls down and creates flash. Not to mention the tail has a, sh a vibration and you'll see that wiggling back and forth. So now, another great option for rigging soft plastic is the Z-Man Chatterbait Jig Head. Holy cow, guys, they come in both silver and gold. If you want to create some massive vibration and get those fish to strike, you can use this for bass, you can use it for snook, redfish, trout, everything's gonna eat this. And of course, you have the super strong and sharp mustad hook. So you're not gonna have to worry about bending or breaking that hook. So this is what you do here. Same concept. You take the barb of the hook, press it right through the bait, and make sure you're as centered as possible. Now, as this starts to curve, you'll see on this bait, all right, you'll see how it has this little groove. See that little groove? You want your barb to ideally come out right into the, in the center of that. Let me show you. And on this jig, you can see some major bait keepers here. These things are gonna keep the bait in place. Now watch this. Go ahead and press it up on there. And bada bing, bada boom. This is one nasty vibrating bait. You're gonna catch everything. This color right here is called the Houdini. Red, gold, black, and it's got this uh, green body. 
This is a beautiful color. It reminds me a lot of watermelon in a sense. So redfish love it. Bass love it. You could literally go right from fresh to salt and be very effective with this. And check it out here as we're bouncing it. One thing you could do is swim this. You can swim it, jerk, and then allow it to fall. And you'll see as it falls, it still gives off that crazy vibration. But not only do you get the vibration of the blade, which is very prevalent, you also have the swim and tail. So here we have the Z-Man Easy Shrimp. Great little soft plastic, resembles obviously a crustacean, shrimp, very popular bait in the salt water. So this is good for trout, redfish, uh, flounder, snook, you name it. If it swims in salt water, it probably eats this. So how you, would you rig this is pretty simple. It comes with this funky looking hook with the weight that's already attached. It's a fixed weight that's attached to the hook. So how you do it is you go ahead and press the eyelet through the little hole in the top of the shrimp's head. All right, so now what you'll notice on this shrimp is there's a little pre-made hole that you're gonna wanna push this barb through and push it up through the pre-existing hole that's in the that's made in the bait for you and that'll allow this to lay flush right in the underbelly of your shrimp and it should look just like that beautiful little bait this is great guys nice light action it has a great jerking motion some tail action and you'll see that here i mean look how it moves through the water all right, guys, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed today's YouTube tutorial on how to rig the Z-Man Soft Plastics. If you did, please give a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe for a lot more great tutorials to come. If you're new to us, be sure to check out some of our previous videos. Got a lot of great footage on here. And until next time, guys, I'll see you on the water.